What's the best piece of advice you've been given? Um, probably just to just stay true to who you are and, and never change when you're under the pressure. And who's that from? from? From wise man. One wise man. The old man? I'll follow, but, you know, and, and prove, I like proving, you know, see you next Tuesday is wrong as well. That's from Wayne Bennett. I was going to say that. Wayne Bennett, he, he was obviously very influential in your career and what did you love about him so much? I just think the the man he could, you know, I got good influence out of him being a good man and that's what he always wanted. I think that's why a lot of people followed him and if I had a chance to follow him, I would have. And um, But, yeah, circumstances are different because of South Sydney and the way I love them. And But I love Wayne just as much. And, um, yeah, we have the same passions off field, which, you know, aligned with me. And, um, and he showed me a lot of respect by, you know, coming to Tari a lot and, you know, showing my family the time of day. And mm. um, But no one knows that, you know what I mean? So um, I remember one story, <coughs> we were up and this is where I learned to play footy at the front of this bar, this pub. It's where I still go to this day. It's called the Bushland Tavern. and um, So it's all renovated and that now, but this is, used to be this look like, you know, 10 by 10 footy field, little grass area. Mm. And we, that's where me and my brothers learned to play footy and my really? cousins. And, um, <clears throat> you know, mum and dad would be in the pub, you know, having a couple and we'd just play footy and that's where, you know, we'd have dinner or whatever. But... Yeah, there was these kids doing the same thing, my little cousins and that, and Wayne brought them all in. I got them all in, and, and Wayne's like, and Wayne bought them fish and chips, and you know, brought out all these drinks and that for them just to have a feed because they just had you know, little bony black fellas running around enjoying footy and loving it, and they didn't know Wayne Bennett was sitting there, and um, they know I come up all the time, but for them to see, you know, super coach, you know, and they knew his name, they knew everything about him, and yeah, these kids are only, you know, wouldn't even known in his era, you know what I mean? So it's just it's something very respectful that I found with Wayne and. That's why I love him today. That's why a lot of players love him. Yeah. So do you still keep in touch with Wayne? Yeah, we'll talk about it. We never spoke footy, like we never spoke footy. It's always cows and farming and and just, you know, making sure, you know, there's feed all year round or something's going on. You know, I'd always ask him for advice because he's been doing it for, you know, 30-odd, 40 years, you know, and uh, he started with six cows. I've started with four, so he'd be at 200 head. I'd be at, you know, just at 40. So it's just it's very special to be a part of and know that you've got a mentor there to help you out. I remember we'd, uh, we beat Parramatta <laughs> <laughs> during the COVID year, uh, was it 2021? <laughs> and uh, he was the last one on the bar, so we had the jukebox with him. Yeah. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was the best off. time, mate. Because I was like, you, you obviously were, were coached with him for what, a couple of years Two now. And that was my yeah. first year with him and the first time I actually met him. Yeah. And I didn't know what to expect. Yeah. And I was like, you know, I was still a little nervous schoolboy you know, around him and... Um, but yeah, it didn't take me long to kind of you know warm up to him and understand yeah. why. Yeah, easy to so adjust to a person like that, eh? Mm. Like especially when you find common ground and and then if he rips you, he rips you. It comes from a good place and you know it's respectful too. And um, but yeah, mate, he, he love a few players. He'd give it into all the time, but they knew like they get the best out of him. Mm. You'd, you'd have to say it. So that's what's so good about yeah. him. He knows how to deal and with different personalities. His personality is like he just knew. I remember we got flogged by Panda if I, out at at Dubbo and we come oh. back. Remember and he just he rolled in and <laughs> the gym, eh? yeah shirt off and he's like. <laughs> Fuck it, boys. Don't worry about it. Let's go next week. You know, like just shit like that and pump. Like just, just change the whole perspective. Then we went on the run. Then for that rest of that year, and then obviously, you know, whatever I happened you after say, that. That's why he's the best. Yeah, <laughs> he's the best, brother. So yeah. So who would be your um, your biggest idol growing up? Um, You'd have a few. Yeah, Matty Bowens definitely. I, he was always same, and he knows that too. So um, yeah, he's just one of the players that I love the instinct and. Then Greg was obviously a you know powerhouse, so he was good to be you know to watch. And then obviously Thurston, and then I got a chance to play with Thurston and Greg in the same team, All Stars. I was mm. only seven, I would have been eight, nineteen, in Newcastle too. So it was that was special, and we won that game too. So yeah, it's just something I, I yeah they you know sort of paved the way in footy terms. And um, but yeah, I wanted to always make sure I was a proud black man as well. And um, yeah, a few of them did that, and I guess in a sense where yeah, off-field stuff, they've been going really well in their, their point of views and, and how they want to, you know, get their messages across in mental health or whatever it is and give them back. And, mm. yeah, I just wanted to keep <clears throat> sort of keep that torch alive and, and do it better. I want to add to that. Um, during your career, especially at a young age, you were compared to GI. What was that like? Yeah, well, I was that only 17. And, yeah. yeah, but always – Wanted to be myself and play, bomb, you know, f for myself and be, you know, that Latrell Mitchell, not GI. Like, I only played the way I play because <clears throat> I had these people to sort of, you know, get little bits and pieces off, you know, and that's why I can, I can kick, pass. I've always practiced everything and kick goals and, um, you know, because of first in and then, you know, chip and chat, whatever it is. You know, I used to do that all the time in SG Ball and stuff mm. like that and just play instinctive footy like Matty Bowen. But then Greg sort of changed the perspective of how to run a ball and, 
and the palm come into it. Always had it, but just yeah, just making. You sure. develop that palm. No, nah, always it had it. Instinct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was instinct. Always had it, but it's just more like oh, Greg does it too. Like he just throw it out more, and then. So it's fair you looked up to him a bit, Greg. Like yeah, it yeah. Kind of molded your game towards you know. Sort of, yeah, in a way, I guess, and then yeah, just there's a lot of similarities. Yeah, good looking. And, um, ah, yeah, strong, <clears throat> strong man, you know. Stop smiling. <laughs> <laughs>